Hey everybody, welcome to Astro Exploring. So tonight I'm going to be out in the back garden. Uh, it's supposed to be a clear night after about eight, nine o'clock. Um, so I'm just busy setting up my equipment now, doing a polar alignment and then I'll do my star alignment. And tonight I'm going to try and shoot the Andromeda Galaxy because it's quite high in the sky at the minute. And as my camera is not modified at the moment, it's quite an easy target to shoot whether your camera is modified or not. I just want to say a huge thank you to the uh, 39 people that have subscribed to my channel so far. Um, really appreciate it. The channel's only been up for a couple of weeks, um, but I really appreciate um, that you've subscribed to the channel already. Sorry for looking like an absolute yobbo, but um, it is freezing outside tonight. <laughs> so I want to give you a quick overview of the equipment that I'm using to uh, take with the Andromeda Galaxy and a, a very brief overview of the sort of process that you have to go through in order to be able to take these images. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload. Okay, so let me just give you a little rundown of what I've done so far. Um, I've just done a quick rough polar alignment. Um, I'm just about to do my two star alignment. However, um, there's quite a lot of cloud rolled in. Um, so I'm not sure how successful that will be. The cloud is due to clear. Um, fairly soon um, but I'll I'll give it a go see how I get on um, it's really cold out here tonight it's only half past seven um, there's already a light frost on the ground so it's gonna be a pretty cold one out here tonight um, so the juice strap will be really put through its paces um, in terms of my setup I'll just take you through that quickly so I've got the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount with the belt mod um, Attached there is my Skywatcher EvoStar 72ED DS Pro. Attached to the Sky telescope, I've got the Skywatcher field flattener, and then I've got the adapter to go from the field flattener to my DSLR camera, which is a Canon 650D, which is unmodified. I'm going to send that off in the next couple of weeks uh, to be modified. And then I've got this turned, I've got my, my juice strap turned up to about uh, 60 percent imaging uh, uh, power at the minute just to keep the <laughs> keep the objective lens clear and then I'm using um, uh, a jump start a car jump starter for my power which I've got two 12 volt um, leads connected one which is power in the mount and the other one which is power in the juice strap okay so I'm gonna go ahead and begin my alignment now uh, I'm just gonna do a two star alignment and I will accept Capella because it's not currently uh, cloudy in that part of the sky, so, so hopefully I should be able to uh, to see it. Okay, so there's still some cloud around, but it's it's quite patchy and quite thin. So I'm just gonna I've I've done my two star alignment. I've uh, slewed the telescope to uh, we're pointing at Andromeda, so I'm just gonna take a 30 second test shot. Um, these are my settings at the moment, so ISO 800, I've got a, a two second uh, timer on at the moment uh, just to um, alleviate the wobble as I press the shutter because I've not got my shutter release cable connected at the moment. And we'll see what that looks like. Um, hopefully it's in the centre of the frame. Okay, so the picture has just finished, so if I go to that, and there you can see the Andromeda Galaxy. Um, for a quick 30 second test shot with clouds, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and bring out the shutter release cable, uh, and I'm just gonna set, set this going for uh, probably two minute exposures, because I'm not auto guiding, two minute exposures. ISO 800, I think, I might try 1600. Um, but I'll, I'll do a couple of test shots on two minutes each and see how they look before I decide. Uh, and I'm just going to leave that going for probably three hours. Here's my mascot for the evening. There's Hugo. He plays he plays guard pup while I'm uh, out here imaging. Um, he obviously doesn't mind the cold. I am absolutely freezing. Uh, okay, so um, I've brought out my shutter release cable now. Uh, so I'm just going to connect that to the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up 
for a two minute test shot on ISO 800 first and then I'm going to do ISO 1600 see which one looks better and this thing is really easy to use the shutter release cable I got it for about 10 quid off Amazon uh, just the one for now um, just going to turn my head torch off and hit start so this is a pretty simple setup guys um, I'm not using a laptop um, with um, Backyard EOS or, or anything or astrophotography tool um, or anything like that. I'm not auto guiding. I've got no guide camera. All I've done, I've done a polar alignment, uh, a pretty rough polar alignment to be honest, and then I've done uh, the two star alignment method, uh, sent the stars in the frame, sorted out the focus using the live view and zoom on the um, uh, DSLR, and that's it. As I said, I've done my two star alignment uh, and I've chosen Andromeda as my target for the evening. And I've slewed to the target. I've taken a couple of test shots uh, at two minutes, uh, one on ISO 800, one on ISO 1600. Um, so far I've done all my imaging on ISO 800, but um, there's no moon tonight. And I'm lucky enough to live in Bortle class four skies. So even without, um, even without a light pollution filter, um, I can I can still get some some really decent results, and um, yeah. So I'm about to start um, the imaging now, and as you can see, I've also got Guide Pup Hugo over there. Uh, next door, I've got a few cats, so he always he always keeps a lookout. Yes, I'm talking about you. Um, okay, so I am going to get my shutter release cable. Let's get that screen back up. Uh, so the way this works is the first one is delay. Um, you can set that so that you don't want, if you don't want your images to start shooting straight away. Long is the, uh, the length of your exposure. So I've already got that set to two minutes. Interval is the time between exposures. Um, I've got that down at 15 seconds at the minute because it's about minus one, minus two out here at the minute so the camera's not exactly going to get particularly warm <laughs> between um, uh, while it's taking the shots um, and then N is obviously number of exposures I'm just going to whack that up to 100 um, I'm doing as many as I can because the clouds have only just cleared um, and I've it, they kind of forecast to come back in the next couple of hours before they clear again for the rest of the evening. So I figure if I just um, if I just do a hundred, then I should be able to use most of them, and I'll I'll keep coming out every twenty minutes or so just to check the cloud coverage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start uh, in just a second. Before I hit start, I just want to check my settings on the camera. So I've got that set to bulb, which allows me to control it from the shutter release cable and. ISO 1600 with single shooting in the raw format. I've got a fully charged battery. That's pretty important. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Okay, and that is the first image going. So I am gonna put that there i'm going to pop the screen back i'm going to turn my light off before i ruin this picture and now i'm going to go inside and have a nice cup of tea here you go oh, who's a good boy who's a good boy hey yeah who's a good boy so i've had the telescope taking pictures of andromeda for the past nearly two hours um i've got about 50-ish um, two-minute subs uh, so I've got plenty of data to go out there it's starting to get a little low in the sky now um, so before I take my dogs um, I, I just wanted to start on the horse head and flame nebula um, my camera's not modified at the minute so before I get it modified I'm going to be sending it off in the next couple of weeks I just wanted to do some quick one minute subs. I've set it up to do 40 subs. Um, just so I'd get some a quick capture uh, and process just to see what that data looks like um, before I get the camera modified so that I can compare it to the um, 
the camera after it's been modified. Uh, I did the same with the Orion Nebula uh, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I'll be able to share those those uh, before and after shots with you. So I hope you appreciate that um, so that you can see the difference between them.